Hi guys, happy Sunday, good afternoon. It's your girl Chineo Odunowo. Use inside voice. Cough. As <laughs> you guys head like I've seen no more. Hi guys, happy Sunday. It's your girl Chineo Odunowo and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video after watching it. So I have a guest today. Um Chioma. Introduce yourself, Oya. I'm her sister. You didn't say you didn't tell him I'm sister. <laughs> you said it by yourself. <laughs> okay. So sorry. This is my sister Chioma. So she's a guest on my YouTube channel today. Hi guys. So guys, before we start this video, I would like to apologize for my obvious absence from my YouTube channel. I'm a, I'm a caterer now, I'm into the catering business and you guys know catering business is so tasking. So I've not had time for myself, but um, my sister gingered me today to come yeah. back because she's actually a YouTuber too. Not on my YouTube Fab channel. Omar. Fab Omar. I'm going to post um post her YouTube channel on my, the description box so you guys can check her out. So guys, today my sister came to my house um <laughs> for the weekend and we got chicks chatting or chatting about marriage generally. So she wants to know some things about marriage. I'm a newlywed, by the way. Yeah, she newlywed. So she wants to know something, some things about marriage. Um the life-changing experience in marriage and so so i was like okay let's film it and probably people will benefit from what we want to talk about yeah so let's get right into this video guys. Mm -hmm. welcome back guys i take over from here so yeah. as she said earlier i wanted to ask her some questions i mean you went by the way like i said and i wanted to ask her questions because she has been in marriage for six years and counting yeah and i've been in marriage for barely to three months so yeah so yes i just start to ask her some questions and then we just start okay these questions are things that maybe young people out there might also want to know yeah, about they want to single from, so. and newly wed at the same time so yeah we just start to film videos so first question that i want to ask her is do you think that marriage changes people and um how they relate with their friends uh Friends in, in friends, I friends mean single. In quotes. Yes, I understand. Friends. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Not really. It depends because I feel when you're single, your um, aim, your goals, your objectives are different yeah. from when you're married. Marriage changes a lot of things. Like the kids are there. Mm -hmm. You have someone, someone you are, you have to attend to. Like your husband, you have like a partner. Yeah. So if your friends, like your single friends don't share some part of that goals or aims with you you understand like you know when, for example when you're single you guys maybe you do business like let's say for me like when i'm single like we want to hang out one does most of what we think about or think about oh which guy to study today all this mm -hmm. kind of talk you get what i'm saying yes. or you want to go clubbing and all that mm -hmm. when you get married it changes yeah so you might still have some single friends you definitely see the ones that you might want to cut off yes naturally true naturally something that is unavoidable you might see the ones you might want to cut off probably the ones that you feel that might draw you back or might affect your marital life mm -hmm. you understand for example you see you have a single friend that wants to keep you outside the house till 12 p.m in the night mm -hmm. knowing fully well that you're a married woman and you have people to attend to so definitely you might have to cut them off it's natural yeah. nothing personal yeah but i still have single friends that are, that are understanding that are yes. reasonable and they are still my friends to date yes there's nothing like cutting up they understand that oh my friend is married mm -hmm. and we have to respect her boundaries yes because so i also think same thing too i think that when you have friends that you you should know the kind of friends you have yes is when you don't know the kind of friends you have that's when you'll be confused your friends should respect boundaries exactly. boundaries is very important yes so once boundaries. i know that you are that type of friend that doesn't respect boundaries i might probably give you some kind of space but I once i know, know that, the, the cutting up doesn't even happen like oh i don't yes, want you again exactly it just happens naturally yes there's some friends that are very they don't they are not understanding at all they would rather like your marriage breaks or maybe you have issues in your marriage just to please them mm -hmm. just to please their own lifestyle yeah. those kind of people just you well, avoid them and when you, start, when you start avoiding them or when you start doing the one that favors you mm -hmm. they just drift away yeah. naturally and that's it okay so another thing i want to find out is when you get married what's your take on changing your phone number 
Okay, I did that. After I got married, I did that because you know, as a young girl, it's not com. I won't say it's compulsory. Yeah. Some people because I know that there are people that yeah. change their phone number. Yeah, I did that. Completely. When I got married, I, ch I broke my old sim because you have all those guys, all those toasters. You get people mm. like we've known in the past and all. But what and if they already know that you are married and they decide to stay clear? Not all of them will. Know. No, from experience, because for me to change my sim, one of one called know. me after marriage and was like, oh, and I was like, no, I can't deal with this. You get some people that have like the energy to be like, oh, don't call me, don't. Mm. I don't have the energy for that, so I rather yeah. okay, fine, let me just change my sim. Yeah. After all, I don't really have much. I just need the numbers of my close friends reason, and family. So I broke the sim and I started afresh. The only reason why so I feel it. that that changing of sim might not really work for me is because I don't know. I just feel like. What if I've applied for some jobs or I've dropped my numbers? Uh -huh. and That's the they the things you consider. Me. Yes, yeah. me mine. I already weighed my options. I already knew that this thing wasn't so useful to me. Yeah. So what I did changed. was that I changed and I took out some numbers that were seen that were important. Mm -hmm. It's not like I didn't apply for any job because yeah. you understand. Because I've always been like the business person. Yeah. So I took out numbers of suppliers and all those and yeah. transferred it to my new sim and I broke down one. Would you That's rather it. advise that a woman sits? at home and take allowance from her husband no 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 don't please women don't do that you should have your own source of income the no respect matter how small. yeah no matter how small even yeah. if you are selling bread you should have your own source of income your respect will be there you yeah. don't need to be running to your husband for everything mm -hmm. you don't i don't yeah. support it in this era in this time please get something doing yeah if you're a housewife please get this is the internet era. You can do your online business. You can business. do drop shipping. Yeah, drop there are so shipping. many things you can do online. But please, media. whatever you do, do not be a stay home wife that collects everything from a man. You don't yes. know tomorrow. Yeah. Things can happen. Things can change. So, yeah. Don't Very do that, true. please. Very true. So, yeah. what is your take on family and marriage? How do you put that boundary? In what sense? So can you okay, allow like you mean your, your family, your extended family? Yes. Because once you have your own family, it's, and you that have your, is kids, your nuclear that family. That's now your nuclear family. Yes. You so mean like your siblings? Your siblings, your family, your dad, your mom. This question, by the way, our parents are late though. But this question, like I said, is they are just general questions that I feel people can actually learn from. So yeah, it's not a personal question, yeah. so to speak. So how do you, how do you think the relationship can be managed? Yes, like, like okay, for saying. instance, okay. the reason why I asked this question is someone asked me one day that okay. when you have issues with your with your husband, do you talk to your family members about it? No. Yes, and I, and what I told the person, I no. said, if you talk okay. to family, yeah. Wait, let me tell they you might something. For, they, they might forgive. Wait, you no, might, they might forgive, forgive your yes, spouse. They won't forgive. You. They, but mm -hmm. they won't forgive. They won't forgive your spouse. They might forgive, but they will not forgive. They will forgive you, but they won't forgive and your then spouse. It yes. Keeps bringing down the rest. And it's got to see finish. Exactly. So see finish. Yeah, that's the what only I'm reason. Asking. The only thing I tell people is that there, there's, you, there are three is a crowd. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like you and your spouse. I don't support like involving your family in your marital issues mm -hmm. unless it has gone out of hand yeah. and probably maybe your marriage wants to break up. Aside domestic violence, yes. I don't support domestic violence. If your spouse is hitting you, please involve your family. You need to exit that marriage. Yes. But aside that, like normal misunderstandings, fix it. You guys are adults. Yes. Go on your knees, pray, fix your marriage. Yes. Don't involve people into your relationship. Yeah. You don't need that. Then another thing I think is that even if you want to involve people, let it be someone, not people, basically. And then you need to you you need to have that one person in your family that, that your you husband trust. that you trust and that your husband listens to yes. or your wife listens to. There has yes. to be somebody that you know that if I talk to this person and my, the person talks to my husband, my husband will sit up. Yes. So basically, but there are actually some spouses that don't that don't want. Like people that the, interference. Anybody, yes, they yes. don't want interference. The next question is, what do you think about distance marriage? <laughs> um, if it works for you, you understand. I feel there are um different things work for different marriages. You yes. get, but distance marriage when you want to do it, just make sure that you guys communicate. Mm -hmm. There is trust. You get it. Yeah. Always try to create time for yourselves, regardless of the distance. Mm -hmm then you guys should try as much as possible to visit each other 
That very is true. true. Yes, but I distance think so. marriage it causes I think a lot of it too. causes a lot of cracks. Yeah. In marriage, yes. if you are not careful, true. and you should always be prayerful for enemies that want to come in through those cracks. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I I think so too. I think that distance marriage. I don't really have anything against distance marriage. I just think that if it works for both of you, if you both of you, if both of you are mature enough to handle, to handle it, it, yes. I think you should go for it. Yes. But left to me, I don't think I just don't let the distance. Yes. Be silent. Exactly. Don't let the distance be silent. Always check up on yourselves. Create time for yourselves. Yes. So, what do you think about kids, early childbearing? Mm -hmm. So, there are people that don't want to have kids early when they get married. They, I've seen couples that agree that two years we don't want kids, and that I've seen works. couple. I've seen people that will tell you, you need to get pregnant before I marry you. Why should you? It so depends. They should have their yeah, reasons for that. Yeah, then I need. I've seen people that say, "Oh, immediately we're getting married. Please, let's start having kids. There's no time." Anyways, before I feel before you guys get married, you and your spouse will have discussed have all a conversation. those. You have a conversation yes. of how you want your marriage to go, mm -hmm. how many kids you want to have. Those are like the important discussions that you have to have. Yeah. Because um, some the ones you, you you saying that um you don't need to have kids for like two years. That's actually good because I feel like you and your husband are young. Yeah. You understand? They see age on your mm -hmm. side. And if you feel kids will disturb because kids actually disturb. Right? They do. They do. They interrupt with the life of a father and a mother. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Like when they come in, when kids are involved, a lot of things change, change. because attention shifts. Yeah. Like when it's just you and your man. You guys are there for each other. You give yourself attention. It's just both of you. But when kids come, attention shifts from you. Your man will focus on your kid. You two focus on the child. Mm -hmm. So that is when you see some men drifting away from their marriage. Yes. They don't have time to go out. And that's why I think it's yes. advisable to go on vacations without the kids. Yes. They do. You it's, know, it's just very have advisable. like a nanny or something or drop them you at can your even mom's. Go, yeah. Or something yes just go just you and your husband just do it like twice create a year. time for yourself yes just do that create like twice a year because travel kids out interrupt a lot a lot because you see you as a mom you want to focus on your child your husband needs you and you don't know but what should and you when know? you have kids it's hard for you to balance sometimes because you know men hardly speak up when they need you. we are more vocal than men when we don't get attention men are not that vocal so you see that when they feel that's what causes so many men to have side chicks some of them yeah except the ones that are so greedy that maybe the woman does everything and they still want to go outside but sometimes mm -hmm. these kids like they bring that distance that is not easy yes it's not easy yes. why kids come in things change a lot yes but with friendship with maturity with cooperation with prayers you and your spouse, you have to make it work for yourselves. Yes. So, final question that I would like to ask. Finances in marriage. How do you think finances should be managed? Because I know that they are... So, left for me, yeah, I, I think that it can be shared. But yeah. I, would, I, would, I would like the 70-30. I've had the conversation with my husband. I, would like, I, I feel like when you know your husband's pockets, you should be able to... You, so that you don't put so much on Pressure, him. yes. Yes. But when you know that your husband is somebody that is financially stable as in left right center no yeah. even with that even with my you husband still like, help, financial, right? i help exactly so i still help what yes, do you think about that yes you have to help where even, even in the bible a woman is a helper as i said so you're um, not one of those women that feel like no no my no, no, no it's not, there everything. is no respect to yourself you are just you are just wasting your time in fact you are downgrading yourself if you feel a man should do everything yes. for you, yes. you need to bring have your respect to the table. in your marriage. Exactly. What do you bring to the table? Even if it's just paying for, for DSTV. Even no, if you have to do some. Even if you have to do some more. Paying for DSTV. Just do it. Let's because there are people that might not be working. Yes. So even if it's just, okay, babe, I paid for the DSTV today. Or baby, the carpenter came to fix this thing. I gave him money. Little things like that. He might not tell you, but inside his mind, you'll be like, okay, this, this, is, this is actually a helper because women are meant to be helpers. So... That is what I just wanted to find out. So yeah, yes, the finances, yes. And I also like you don't you try and help your spouse. That's why they said the man is the head of the family. You are the neck. You the are neck that means you support. Exactly. You have to support your man. Yeah. Because some of these men they don't talk. Like men go through a lot. It's not easy True. when they go to work. Like they, you put the whole financial burden on them. Mm -hmm. And most times when they are is overbearing for them, they go out there just to calm their head. Yeah. You have to support your man. Mm -hmm. And when you said, um, if the woman is not working, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm not judging anybody, but why would you not work as a wife? Like, even if you're not, like, if it's not office job, like, get, get a business, do something. Yeah. I don't see how someone just wakes up in the morning and just sits down and you carry a baby, you smell like breast milk everywhere. No, no, no. 
get something doing even if it's online yeah you can how can you have a smartphone and you're not making money from it i always tell people that if you have a smartphone as a business person i'm not talking of working class or yeah. maybe the white collar job yeah if you have a smartphone and you are doing business and you're not utilizing that phone all the reels videos all those things we are not using it where well, you are just wasting your time that smartphone you are holding on your hand is can gold do a lot. it's pure gold can do a lot. if you know how to use it it's yeah. gold it's not just can for wasting lot. um your mb no yeah, it can't. It so can as a wife, like lots. even if you want to be a stay-home wife, you can still make money at home. Yeah, help your spouse even when they don't ask. You volunteer. So you go it. out, do something. You go, long go way. out. You call your spouse. Maybe you branch out a fast food. What can I get for you? All those things that he does for you. Try and do it for him. Yes, it men really don't helps. talk. They don't. They are not vocal. But when you do all those stuff, you will see that you will get hundreds of that thing that you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's all the question I have. So let me leave that to end that video. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's the end of my video. I hope you've. I've answered some yes. of the questions, yeah, yes. and I hope you guys also um learn from it. If you have more questions to ask me or you mm -hmm. want to learn more, mm -hmm. just type it in the comment section and I'll answer you on my next video. Thanks guys hi. for viewing and have a lovely day.